you want to make your projects at home go a lot faster, painting, staining, finishing, furniture, cabinets, we're going to give you a little tour of our DIY booth in our garage. Hey. Hey, try to shoot a video. Hi. So we went through a couple different things. We did the roll down spray booth sides with the plastic and then you roll them back up to the ceiling. People, people don't know what you're talking about. I just made that up, I think. Or no. did you see that? I saw it. Oh man, I was going to try to take credit no. for an original idea. No, sorry. Okay, so some plastic that would roll down to kind of create a booth. A booth. But you what, could fit like one chair in there. And but what other problems were there? Um, the sides would flap in onto your piece and then it would have a nice little like mark on it where the sides touch so it. you're saying plastic slapping the furniture what not furniture? good not good not okay good. so and we, you did it without anything before yeah so like we, take it outside and hope the bugs don't don't get on it and really you started just doing everything by hand yeah painting by hand foam brushes rollers putting finish on by hand yeah how did that go for you it takes so much more time five times as long as long yeah or oh, ten yeah. times as long especially if there's a lot of detail like on a chair leg or a table leg it would uh. hand painted versus spray. yeah as much as you want to say that you're not going to see the brush strokes if you get close enough you can always see the bug yeah brush. we yeah. use a premium product and like, it really super nice, super nice. we use self-leveling like, general finishes products they're great and you really can't see them with the i mean with a roll or a brush i mean it's yeah. really 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 small but a sprayed product is always better. Always better. Always better. So we're going to show you what we did that's worked out for years. Right. Uh, a DIY paint booth that you right. can do in your garage. There's always furniture stacked up. So we just took a, a two by four and went from the wall to we have this post in the garage. And we just put basic hanger and did a two by four. Uh, we open up the door bay. We've got a four by eight sheet of plywood. That is the door. So structurally, it's just uh, one hanger across the top and we're literally just suspending the uh, sheets of plywood on them. They're literally, you can see here, see that? They're literally just hanging. It's not even like structural. We did brace the first one. So coming out from the, the concrete. And you can hear the fan just kicked on. So we're uh, evacuating all of the paint overspray and the fumes. We use mostly water-based stuff. Uh, but it's important to get all of that out of the air. We've got lights pointing on a 45 degree down to work pieces. Ooh, look at that dining table. Looking good. We got side lights there. We got overhead lights. And these are just LED lights that we got. They're about 20, I think they're about 20 bucks a piece. Mm -hmm. 25 bucks a piece. Good lighting. Good lighting. Walls that don't fall in on your piece. Yeah, we do have this, plastic we there. We do have this wall as a plastic wall, um, just because we weren't sure if we would need to like open it or what to do. But we are going, we are planning to put plywood just because it's starting to get a little more movement and stretched out. And so we're going to put some plywood on there instead. And we thought we might need it for extra light, but yeah. the lighting in here is good enough. Yeah. We've got a plastic ceiling just so that way we don't have to have too much structural support. But you can see, just use basic two by four hangers and just string them across and just create a real basic structure that's anchored off of this post and anchored off the wall that are structural. And then it's just kind of floating. These hangers here are the rack system that we use for all of our cabinetry. Yeah. So we've got a lower, lower one there and an upper one there that we can hang and, and paint and spray all the sides 25 or so cabinets probably yeah i think we can fit 20 about 25 in here yeah we've got we've got a little swivel hook system that's something we actually detail in complete detail and show you how to do a basic booth like this in our painting course that we have on our website restoration.market and we go through how to paint your kitchen cabinets from start to finish all of the tips and tricks and how to do a diy booth yeah in your garage not like this but with probably supplies that most people have right already in your garage right. and you would be able to do it um, and get that professional finish uh easily at your place so if you're interested in that we'll put a link to it here in this video one of the things though that i wish we did and you probably do too is yeah. this door is great it is. 
but the concrete in garages are sloped, which is good because the water runs away from your house. Which is helpful. That's helpful, but then the door catches. So it only opens up like. You can maybe squeak it open like right there. Dartboard. Catches. You gotta have a dartboard on your door. Oh, brother. That's. You know, work slow, you just throw a few. Anyways, it catches right there. It usually doesn't hang us up. Right. Um, Getting this table in was, I had to put the leaf in and kind of finagle it a little bit because it's... And it white. makes it tight to cor like turn the corner of our setup for our garage if we want to put pieces like over there. Um, makes it kind of tricky. So we wish we would have done a rolling door. Yeah. That would have slid where this white door is leaning up. It would have just slid across and opened wide wide open, it would be easier to get in and out. Right. An electric heater up there, it's a great heater. It uh, heats our whole garage, middle yeah. middle of winter, and we're in a climate where we get tons of cold weather and snow. It can be 12 degrees outside and two foot of snow, pretty common uh, in our winters. Yeah. And that heater does great, it's electric, it's instant on, and it heats our whole space. We can get it up to 70 degrees here in the middle of winter, so it's easy to paint, stuff will cure and dry. Yeah but a real basic booth set up there, not real structural. It can easily come down. Yeah. So if we ever move or want to change locations, right. we could just, just unscrew it all. Take about an hour, we just pop it all off. Right. Um, and again, the only changes we'll make are really a door system and then the plastic on the other wall. Yeah. Uh, we should just put up three more pieces of plywood. Yeah. Plywood's really cheap, easy to get. It's all four by eight. We, I don't even know if we had to cut anything. I don't think we did. I don't remember. This Maybe side. Maybe that last. Maybe the last piece over here we cut off a little bit. No, and that looks like, I think we just I made it all that, easy. Yeah. There's just two more four by eight sheets. So I guess it's 16 by something. Well, uh, well, it's each sheet is four, so it's 12 foot plus the post. This is eight foot plus a post, so oh, it's, yeah. yeah, doing quick math there. 16 by 12? Yeah, nope, 12 by eight. But anyways, I'll do the numbers, you do the design, it all works out great. Stay in my lane. Stay in your lane. There you go. Just wanted to give you a quick tour, uh, maybe inspire you what you could do in your space. Oh, sorry. You're pointing right there at that. It looks ugly. What looks ugly? The shelf in the background. Oh, the shelf in the background? But well, you're pretty. Oh, thanks. That's our setup. Maybe it'll inspire you for your setup if you're regular, regularly doing some painting or finishing how you could set up with good lighting, good ventilation, a good space where you could get stuff in and out. Uh, it's real easy to use, so hopefully that gives you some ideas what you could do at your place.